A new CTGP update just got released, which includes four new tracks, one major update, and four minor updates. The four tracks removed in this update are Halado Mountain, Mushroom Valley, N64 Luigi Raceway, and Nizwo Desert. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the new tracks and the major update. Be sure to comment down below what your favorite track was and your thoughts on this update. The first new track added in the CTGP update is Blissful Block, worked on by Strobenz, Cobalt, and I'm probably going to butcher this, but Michael, I'm going to guess. You can see the names of the authors on the screen. And this track, I've been looking forward to seeing this in CTGP for quite some time now, because this is one of those tracks where you're taking a different route every single lap. And it's been a minute since we've seen something like this. And I don't know if this is the right way at all, but I've just been going this way for the fun of it. And we can do some tricks off of these right here. Now this track was originally built for a different CT distribution, so it wasn't gonna work with CTGP. But after a little bit more testing and some little developing, they were able to get all this all the features working, including the different routes for each lap. And okay, there's a car right there. I mean, I definitely could have avoided that one, but that ending section is definitely going to be very hectic and online. That bomb car? Okay, I don't know how I feel about that positioning. But as you can see here, we're going to be taking a different route this lap compared to last lap. Going over here, taking this nice turn and going under this little... I'm going to say underpass? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to call it an underpass. But seeing more of this city-like structure. Got a decent amount of ramps and what looks like an alternate route on the side there not sure how much faster or slower that will end up being but we can take a look at that if we pass by it again lap three but so far i'm, I'm really liking this track oh my oh okay a lot of the track seems to be falling apart right now hopefully that doesn't disrupt too hard D dude i okay i just got juked by the car like come on man all right you know what i'm really liking this track i mean i had i had like my doubts at first because you know, cars with traffic don't tend to be very popular among a lot of people, and I don't blame them for that, but... Oh, we're getting blue-shelled. Like, come on, dude. Hopefully nothing happens getting blued on top of this structure. It looked like I was almost getting stuck for a moment, but it looks to be all fine. Gonna be going nice and wide for this lap three route here. Can I get the Shroomba? I can! Let's go! We're gonna go early over here, passing by the same structure we passed by earlier. And I'm going to see if I can get up there. I believe you can get up here shroomless. And just like that, made it up here. Oh, okay. I didn't think I was going to make that success. Oh, wait, you go a different direction. Wow, I didn't even see that until the last second. Okay, we're going to go on this other route right here. Pass by some boats. I, I don't know if you can get on them, but I'm not going to try that right now. And I believe you go over here, lap three, onto this transparent esque road i don't know this this is a very narrow section compared to the rest of the track but i kind of like it and just like that that's blissful block you know i really like that track i think it's gonna be one of the better traffic-esque tracks that we've had in the pack in a while it seems like it'll give really fun races and crazy endings second new track on the list is strobens desert illusion and for those of you who have been around since like maybe 2015 or so, you will know that this is a very nostalgic track. Now it's worth noting that I basically grew up on the Strobenz tracks. When I first started playing custom tracks, some of his tracks were among my favorites. Strobenz Desert definitely being one of them. So seeing the concept brought back to life in this new track is honestly insane to imagine. Now, this is already one of the craziest beginnings we've seen on a CT in a while. And this section is probably where the word Illusion comes from in the track name. Since that actually comes from an old track called Illusion Canyon. And this road section, like, kind of trips me out. We got a cannon up here. Alright, I thought, I thought it was going to be a trick cannon. Everyone puts trick in. <gasps> Is that a bomb car? Dude, that just jump scared me so hard. Is that... Oh my... Oh, I didn't even know those were a thing. Oh, of course, another blue shell. We got this funny little twister thing going on here. Honestly, this section is looking to be pretty fun as well. I think what I can do is go over here. I'm skipping an item box, but I'm getting a boost panel, so I imagine that'll be the faster way to go. That twister was honestly looking pretty close. 
And we got a nice little half pipe here. Maybe you can do something kind of like Rainbow Road. We got another little twister over here. I don't know what happens. I can I can figure that out next lap. Oh, all right. And I believe, oh, this is, okay, it's the two lap track. And on lap two, this faster route opens at the beginning. This was the faster route at the very beginning. And I believe you can do a shroomless by jumping off here. Wow, okay, well, got shocked while trying to do it, but I, I think y'all get the idea. That's basically the shroomless. You skip the rest of that random road section that we saw there. Don't know, I don't know how to feel about it. I don't think it'll be a major shroomless cut. I hope it's not a major shroomless cut, because, you know, those have gotten to be kind of annoying lately on CTs. But just going to go the other way this time, see if it loses a significant amount of time. Just an alternate route going up top. Uh, it looks pretty close. And I believe you can get off this half pipe into the cannon. Oh, now we're up top? All right, got a nice little faster cannon exit by taking that trick ramp. And going to be able to get two tricks here this time. Up. Oh, all right, CPU must have hit something I laid back. Don't know how, but we'll take those. Yeah, you got to take that ramp there if you want to get a box. Was able to avoid the twister. Now, I believe there's some cuts right here. Actually, nope, I definitely did not do those right. But I know that there's one right here. And we got it just like that. And that is Stroben's Desert Illusion. I am very, very excited for that one to enter the pack. Like, I don't know how it'll be online. I'm sure we'll find out. But I'm expecting that one to be one of my favorites once I play some lounge on that. Next up, we got the Grand Archives. We're taking a quick little break from Strobens over here. This track was made by Metabus. And honestly, when I first saw this track, I was I was a little like doubtful because I was just looking at a video of this and there seemed to be a lot of things going on. But just off of what I'm seeing so far, this is looking pretty nice. I'm liking the theme of kind of being in this big old library. We got all these like, you know, we got that Lakitu. We got this Bob Ross Shy Guy going crazy over here with the painting. And oh my, okay, that, that could be a little bit confusing, but I, I think that's honestly nice. But the driving on this track honestly feels really nice. Like I, I definitely lowered my expectations based off of Metabuzz's previous two tracks being Banished Keep and Shy Guy's Lumber Company. Of course, Shy Guy's Lumber Company, I think is a fantastic track. Banished Keep, on the other hand, I was a little uncertain about. But seeing this track, I really love this theme. Oh my gosh, the librarian. The, li the librarian Goomba is just sitting at the desk over there. I love that feature so much. But this is honestly a really good, really good track from what I'm seeing. I think it'll be not too running heavy, but it's definitely hard to find a lot of shortcuts where you have comeback potential. I think at the beginning, there's a slight shortcut where you can go off to the left and be able to cut off um, one of the turns. But there's not much else going on in terms of shortcuts. For the most part, it kind of just looks like a really, you know, driving based track. And it's not too narrow either. So there's going to be enough player interaction, but it's not going to be like congested, which is the only thing I was worried about when I first saw like some screenshots of this track being released. But I don't know, man. There's really not much else for me to say about this track. I'm just really enjoying driving this. And, you know, I'm still learning these tracks, obviously, because I haven't really played them too much myself. I kind of stopped doing that a while ago. But, you know, while, while I'm just driving around this track here, let me know what you guys think of this update. Do you think this update is a banger or do you think this one is an L? Now, I'm still on the opinion that this might be one of the best updates for CTGP that we've seen in a long, long time. And not saying a lot, but this is looking out to be probably my favorite track update of the year. And it's only the first update of the year. So may maybe I'm setting the bar high. Maybe I'm setting it too low. I don't even know. But all I know is that we got some certified bangers here if these first three tracks have been absolutely epic. And I, I really don't know if there are any other shortcuts on this track. I, I might put that in the description if I learn of any more. But... As of right now, I'm I'm going to assume that there aren't really any major shortcuts besides potentially the one at the beginning. Can I trick off of this? No, I can't. Okay. So that's interesting. Now, I'm wondering, can I go over here? Wait, I can. Wait, I, oh, I can. 
Oh, jeez. Okay, well, that's possible. So maybe something can come of that. I don't know. That'll be really interesting to see if that can ever get implemented. But yeah, that is the Grand Archives. I'm very excited for that one as well. I, 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 I gotta stop saying that. Like, it's true though. I'm very excited for this track. I'm not sure how it'll be online. I think compared to Blissful Block and Strobens Desert, I definitely like it more than Blissful Block. Strobens Desert Illusion though, it's kind of close. But this one will definitely be up there in terms of entertaining races online. For our last new track of the video, we are back with Strobens with Tau Cryo Volcano. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce that. Oh, the Cataquax. Okay. I completely forgot about Cataquax targeting you in versus mode, but this is another track that was released. Like one thing I failed to mention at the start of the video, this track along with Blissful Block and Strobens Desert Illusion were all released together as a part of this sort of cup that Strobens was making. Now we don't have the last track in that cup yet, but we have these three right now. And it's awesome to see that, oh, I'm getting a trick, a double trick off that somehow. But it's just awesome to see that all three of those are getting added to CTGP. And this is honestly one of the crazier layouts out of the three. I mean, Shroben's Desert Illusion is obviously just the craziest one, but this one definitely has a lot going on in it for the theme, which I'm kind of surprised about, but I'm definitely a fan of. It doesn't seem like it'll be a track where you have a lot of breakaways because you have this short cut off to the left right here. And then you have like a few more patches of grass just for comeback opportunities. And we already have different terrain here. And oh yeah, this looks, yeah, this section looks way different than lap one. And we got a, we got a penguin sliding around here. Like that penguin is definitely going to cause some trouble. And we got another double trick. Is that red? Uh, wow. I'm okay. I, I don't know why I'm trying to be funny. Oh, the co oh, that's really cool. Actually, the way the colors change along with the theming of the track. And now the beginning section's completely impacted as well. Oh, this is this is too good. Like Strobens is treating us way too well this update. Now, I don't know if there's gonna be like too many issues with this track. Oh my. Okay, almost got jump scared by that. The only thing I was worried about when originally playing this track was this half pipe. But it seems like this half pipe has been modified slightly to be a little bit better. Oh, I totally could have made it up there. Oh my god. Okay, that's probably gonna be a strat to like go up there. Now, I'm pretty sure there's like a shortcut here. Yeah, as you can see on the left there, there's like an another platform that you can get on top of. I'm pretty sure you're gonna need shrooms for that, but it shouldn't be too difficult of a shortcut. I think it might even be a two mushroom shortcut. But we're coming up to the end of the track here, and that is gonna be wrapping up our brand new tracks introduced in the CTGP update. So, without further- wait! You can go- wait a minute, you can go in the thing there? Okay, well, y'all found out something after I finished the race, that's a new one. But anyway, with all of the new tracks out of the way, it is time to move on to the major track update introduced in this CTGP update. The major track update we have is 3DS Rainbow Road, also known as Rainbow Road Solar Edition. This is based off of the original model by Big Auto 2 and was worked on by ZPL and JC. And just off of a first look, this looks awesome. And these ramps being way lower is a very, very good change. You have no idea how difficult it was to properly maneuver those ramps in the current version. Or in the old version now. Well, I, I gotta remember that. But this, this road texture is actually kind of crazy, but I'm digging it. I didn't think I'd be digging this, but it honestly looks really good. Especially for Mario Kart Wii. Like, this is banging. And they kept the little Minecraft island on the side there. Honestly, th this is really good. Now, I'm not sure what other issues this track had, because I won't lie, I've very much liked this track for a long time. And okay, it's definitely going to be faster just wheelie off of that. You are getting so much air if you trick off of that, even if the ramp is lowered. Now, I'm imagining that these strats are still a thing. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I just, okay, well, I just airballed that ramp for whatever reason. Uh, are these craters lower? They are. Nice. So the craters don't shoot you as high as they used to. And we got some conveyors over here. I'm gonna be slightly faster to take these. Ah, and I'm getting blued on them. Wait, that, okay, that was a weird camera angle. I don't know if you guys noticed that. It didn't like toss me up really high in the air. Now, is this gonna be a strat still? It is. And these ramps are also, uh, not way lower, but they look a little bit lower. 
Oh, I just went over the boost part of it. Yeah, they're like a little bit lower. Also, I'm pulling a lot of fibs. I don't know why that is. But I think this, keeping the set placement or item set placement was really important in this update because where they are in the old version was honestly really good. I think it gave for, uh, amounted for some really good races. And a lot of the time, this first like ramp section is where races could potentially be decided. Now, I'm, I'm sure you're going to be wheeling across those, as you can see right there. That looked reasonably fast, and I got to remember that I'm the only one that's going to hit these backspin. And, oh my gosh, I, I'm so happy they kept the cookie mushrooms. That has been one of my favorite things about this track ever since it was first introduced in, like, I think, I want to say when CTGP 1.03 came out in, like, 2014. So I'm really happy to see the cookie mushrooms still being implemented in this track and overall i mean there there weren't too many changes that needed to be made like i probably i probably said that a few times now but the changes that they did make are very nice for the quality of life of this track and i'm looking forward to seeing if anything major changes with how the track is going to play because i think now if you just go over here and then wheelie off you have a really good launch like i don't know if, i don't know if that's going to be the fastest way to do that but i imagine it oh my Okay, yeah, the chain chomps are still going to be kind of scary, though, so y'all better watch out for those. Um, other than that, I mean, everything is really, really nice. I feel like they might have added a box or two to that item box set, which, again, really good, because, you know, you got to make sure that players get their item boxes. And everything is just so nice. Like, the spacing feels really good. It's just like the old version, literally just a visual update, which is what I was hoping for when I heard that this track was getting updated, because... It plays really well. It gives really good races online in the current version. And, I mean, we're just crossing the line now. I am very, very happy with that version. It stayed very faithful to the original and just made it prettier. which And gave it some quality of life changes, which were very much needed for the track. I'm, I'm very excited to see if maybe it'll be more popular now. I don't know. Only one way to find out. That being said, guys, we have reached the end of the CTGP update. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, be sure to let me know in the comments. Let me know what your favorite track was. Let me know what you think of this update. Is it a banger? Is it an L? Like I said before, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.